Okay, let's continue with the DevExpress dashboard tool. Notice that in the previous video we connected to the data from the NBA and we put something quickly. Well, let's continue dealing with this topic. I was talking about the data source at the beginning and that we gave it a name. Do you remember that? We call it employees. Well, now that we have a data source, we have other possibilities, for example, we can edit the connection. If the connection to which we usually connected with this information changed, then we come here. We do all the change process here, if the user changed, well, we can change that information, another thing we can do is rename it, for example, I named it employee but it would really be the NBA. Another thing that we can do is remove it, if we really added a data source that was not the correct one. Another important topic is the calculated field. We are not going to deal with it in depth because we are going to make a video only for formulas and calculated field that allow us to have additional information. The idea of the calculated field basically is that if I have the data and I need information that I do not have then I can calculate it here. Let's say, I want to have the weight. I do not know, let us say the weight. And, and, let's put weight here. I am going to have the weight and I am going to multiply it, for example, by five, and I am going to give them a name, then basically we could do math operations with it. Operations, like for example, aggregate, sums, averages, here we could have filters, operations with dates, Maybe add a few days or find me the first day of the month or a series of things. And also logical operations. And the math ones, cosine, logarithm, maximum, rounded, tangents. And strings, which take a piece of the text and compare it to something, convert it to uppercase, lowercase. Then, for the calculated field, notice that a calculated field appears here, I can change the name, the type of data, it says that it is an integer, for example, here I am going to put weight by 5. Well then, basically now that I have that calculated field there, I can simply use it. Notice that I am already using it for the dashboard and I can do a lot of things with it. But of course, the calculated field, as I told you, is going to be a whole different video talking about formulas and all that stuff. Now, here we can add another query. Meaning from the same data I want to add another query, now I no longer want the team, but I want the statistics to have it in other place. I want to have, for example, the results elsewhere, so I could add. As many views as I want to my dashboard. And this is going to allow me to have different options to make different subjects. Okay, so, here there is also an option called edit, edit basically what it does is that the data source that we have selected, the selected query, allows us to see what it has.
and allows us to change it, here we were missing a field that was, for example, the position. And after that, well, notice that the position is already part of the information and so we can also rename it, instead of teams we could call those queries something else. Something interesting that we can do, is that we could have made a filter on the data. We have the possibility here to make filters, to create filters, say well, only want the teams that start or end or that have something in the name, then the values are greater or less than that. I mean, you can do here an infinity of combinations. With the data that you have, and it is there, that filter that we are doing here, well, it will be applied to the data that we have already there. Without the need for us to do any additional filter when the person loads the information. This filter will automatically be loaded. And you won't have to do filters or anything because we LL have it preloaded here. We also have to see many things because we can write the filter manually. Or we can select it from the list and here we can select to which values that filter is going to be applied. Okay, the last thing is that we can delete the query. Remember that the entire data source is removed here and the query is removed on this side. Note that they are divided, data sources are here and the queries are here. Remember, you can have more than one data source and also within those data sources you can have more than one query. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.